I've got something very interesting to show you today. Now, those of you who don't like slippery, slimy things better look away because this is very slippery, it's very slimy, and most importantly, very, very delicious. Woo! Look at that. You probably recognize this as the eel they use for unagi. But today I'm at Putian restaurant because they've imported these live eels to uh, make some dishes Chinese style. If you really enjoy unagi, you probably want to know what they're going to do with this eel and how they're going to cook it. Right? We're going to find out. Okay, chef. Okay. Bye. Yeah. This is uh, PG rated, so we're not going to show you how they dispatch the eel. Ta-da! See? Fish fillet. Ah, so chef you just told us that the meatier portions he's going to do on a hot plate. Ah. Whereas this one got more bones and so it better cook as a soup. This man yi, uh, tang, mm. Mm. This is Almost there. Oh, okay. All right. First time trying the eel soup. Hmm. Hmm. It's very good, and uh, because it's live eel, there's no hint of fishiness at all. Sometimes when you eat unagi, right? It's got that fishy flavour, it's because um, the fish has been frozen and that's why it's it developed that fishiness. Which is why it is critical that this fish needs to be live. So now I'm going to try the, the meat itself. It's just perfectly cooked. It's got a nice texture and again, the flavour is very good. Once you have a very nice uh, live eel, you can cook this dish very simply. Uh, we They specially cut it so that the skin will roll up. It's done on purpose. You press it in order to get it evenly cooked on one side. Ah, wow, this is Okay, wow, that looks delicious. That looks really, really nice. The good thing about the eel is there's so much fat. When you uh, pan fry, all the fat comes out and all that nice fragrance, you know. It just comes out and you just... You can't smell it, but I can. Once the fish is nice, it's got a crust and then all the ginger has become crispy. Now oh, it's done. It smells really good. Can't wait to get it. First time again. Trying the uh, eel fried with just ginger, some salt, and some lemon. Here we go. It's really good. Look at how nice and fat this is. Juicy. Mmm. Mmm. A simple dish, but when you have a good quality live eel, a fat one, can just taste the natural flavour of the fish. You gotta come and try this yourself. Alright, don't just take my word for it. It's really good. Mm. 